wall, shut the wall. You know, first and foremost, we're going to get started, we're going to face the east. We give all honor and glory and honor. Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, by Shem, by Shem, by Shem, by Shem. Once they double honor, just like elders are going to possibly get me a song, she'll mess. The rule where and teach where it's very, very exempt to Israel. All right, man, the elect, and say peace and blessings to the whole elect in the fourth corner, pushing the truth and sincerity. All right, that great song. Give me the good account. All right, just come with a little live lesson. All right, through the spirit of power up, you have our small shot. As the Lord give us the spirit to come out here once again, edit it again. All right, the prophet side of the downfall of America, aka Babylon the Great, ought to be destroyed by someone looking the missile. As we can see, to see prophecy, what? Reveal itself, man. Manifest in the earth to show you that the, the power, the supreme power, all right, who the word is even called God, man. He is a man that he does not lie. All right, in this book that we read, known as the Bible, gives us clear indication. All right, of what future events, and guess what? We see it. All right, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. But we have to start with what the Most High business in the world, which He made by what these plague that's coming, things that being set up. All right, we see in World War Three. All right, being put together as in the Most High muster in the battle. All right, you see how the, uh, the economy is, is coming to an end. All right, the fulfillment of the Karaka. You know, we see these things, that these are these the words of the Heavenly Father, which speak to the prophets to bring this uh, urge and information out for our people, all right, which are the Israelites to repent and turn back, man, all right, and be saved. Right. You know, because that's basically what it's all about, by you returning back to the Heavenly Father. So, Lord willing, we get it to it. Y'all brothers and sisters be edified. You know why we made a law down, man. Oh, you got it out. All right, this is Second Peter 3 and verse 1. It says, this second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance. Right, you see that? And that's what's being happening right now. Our minds are being stirred up to the remembrance of who we are, who the Lord is, all right, who our enemy are, yep. you know? That's why our minds are being stirred up to. All right, go ahead. It says, verse 2, that ye may be mindful. And that's the thing, you got to be mindful. He that have her, let him hurt. You got to be mindful. See, this is the sign that's being shown. As in the Most High always show before what? He destroyed the He always sent his prophets on the highways and the hedges. Not in the Lord of houses. That was said about Esau. Right. All right, the new way of uh, the, the church thing, you think about Christianity, not the Catholic. All right, even with the with the, uh, with the Muslims. All right, that was set up by Esau. So it was always being known to be how it's done, right? You go what? On the highways and the hedges. The Lord always sent forth. All right, this prophets, man. You got it. It says that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophet. Right, you see that? But it was spoken by the holy prophet. You know? Yeah. 
Yep. This is uh, Amos 3 and 6. It says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? And going back to the ancient time, the people was always afraid when they saw the, the messengers of the Lord all right, coming to their city. All right? So here it is. This is the spiritual trumpet being blown. Week in and week out. In season, out of season, it's being blown. All right, to warn our people. All right, in the sense of Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spread not. Right. Lift my voice up like a trumpet and show my people that transgress. All right, in the house of Jacob, that's sin. But a nigga gonna be a nigga. All right, and that's when the most high gonna slap the shit out of them. All right, because what? They refuse to hearken to the prophets. But here it is, they'll go to church on a Sunday and listen to that lie demon. Right. That poor chop eating demon. Right. Which ain't giving you no knowledge, no wisdom, no understanding. According to who? The Lord judge you. The bag up in Isaiah when he say, uh, speak unto me smooth things. That's what our people want. Want me to get it? Yeah, you get it? They don't want the hard truth, man. Because the truth is called what? A correction. The smooth thing, you can continue in your folly. Yep. You can continue in their madness, in their wickedness. But when you face the reality and they hit home, you get cut. You know? Now you now you sad. No, it's supposed to stop you and you know, come out. It's supposed to build you up. Yep. Got something. Yeah. And this from uh the treasury. Yeah, I this is from the treasury of scriptural knowledge. Jeremiah 28 and 8. In the Blue Letter Bible, it says the prophets as Hosea, Joel, Amos, Isaiah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, and all others, all of whom had denounced similar evil against a corrupt people. Oh, a similar evil against corrupt people. And who are the corrupt people in this day's time? The Edomites. All right? Them the corrupt people in this time, man. And what we prophesied down for our love? His kingdom. Yeah. It says, so that they who opposed Jeremiah also opposed those who preceded him. <laughs> and it was altogether unprecedented for a true prophet to promise deliverance to a guilty nation. Right, you see that? Oh, that's cut. That cut uh, uh, the one body. They cut them. Because according to them, he loved Esau now, and he hates Jacob. But this is cut. Because when the prophets prophesied, they prophesied what? Because they evil. And this is a corrupt nation. See that part of the time? It's a little bit more. It says, and it was all together unprecedented for a true prophet to promise deliverance to a guilty nation see that? without calling them to repentance. Ooh. Come on, man. You know, so this bag up, all right, as in the act that we're doing right now. And it's going over, it's going on on all four corners of the earth. All right, these little small sanctuaries, all right, prophesying, all right, according to Proverbs, all right, 1 and 20. As wisdom cry without, she utter her voice in the streets. All right, and it's the Lord. This is mercy, you know. You gotta do it. And the and the and the and the, the whole principle of the message is repent. Yep. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repentance is the only way that you can get salvation. Ooh. Now, for the Lord to love Esau, he would have to be a liar, because according to the book of Hebrews, the twelfth chapter, the sixteenth verse, it says he's to be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. They say he found no place of repentance. Okay, so repentance is not something that's in the heart of Esau Edom. His mind does not have the ability to process repentance. Right. The Lord made him wicked. And the ultimate wickedness is when you do evil and you never repent, you never own up for what you do. Right. The Lord can't show a man like that mercy. Right, right, bro. So the message that the prophets always go out preaching is what? Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right? And as the kingdom of heaven uh, comes into fruition, it comes through the fulfilling of the prophecies that's written in the scriptures, the signs, the omens. There's things that lead up 
to the ultimate judgment, which will be uh, which will be at the hand of our Lord and Savior Hawashah. And his uh, office is to give repentance for sins. But you can't get repentance for sins if you don't ask for repentance for sins. And he talked that way. He can't repent. That, that's the uh, I, I was not really that was maybe not doing that lesson yesterday. They're going to kill uh, the uh, Catholic Bible. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the only nation. The only nation. Yeah. yeah. He, he's the only. He, it said Edom figures prominently within the prophetic scriptures as the only nation who the Lord has granted any mercy. There you go. Man, yeah. they're lying right over there in the chain. Uh, the chapter. Right. He ain't gonna be showed no mercy because uh uh of what? No mercy. He don't yeah. show no mercy. That's the Esau to the king. Yeah. It's a lot of it, bro. No, 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 Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He said he shall have judgment without mercy. Without mercy, yeah. To them that have shown no mercy. Yeah. And that's why yeah. and, and that's why that's exactly. And uh our people is who this message is ultimately for. And Esau even he don't he don't stand a chance to get salvation. Hell right? Nah. Uh, matter of fact, I got one real quick. Hell nah, he don't stand no chance. Nah, he cool. Come on, I say I, I what the Lord look like. Let him do all this wickedness and rub elbows with him. You know what I'm right. saying? That don't make sense. Psalms 119, 155. Salvation is far from the wicked. See that? Salvation is far from the wicked. Alright? It's far. And let's go from Esau to third. Yep. It's far from the wicked. That's why, that's why third is going to suffer the same uh, faith as Esau. They're going to get destroyed along with them. So again, salvation is far from the wicked. For they seek not thy statue exactly. They seek not the Lord's judgment. And that's what, uh, that's what repent means. That's what it means to repent. Repent means to turn back to righteousness. What is righteousness? The law, steps, and commandments of the most high. <laughs> so for that, the Lord said he had enough. This is the sign of the Lord having enough. He sent his prophets out in time. Yep. Warn them. If I got a little more mercy, you know, just about this, you know, I got a little more mercy. And his mercy is, is, is extended to the prophets to warn you to come back in. That's it. Before what? He sent his son to destroy the stuff, along with the angels, the host of heaven, <laughs> with the thermonuclear missile. <laughs> as we're going to get into, as uh, Peter uh, uh, teaching this vision. Go ahead. Uh, 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 no, you got to go to that one. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm saying okay. Yeah. Hey, and it's, it's, it's beautiful you said warning, because right here in Isaiah 30, starting at verse 8, the beginning of the uh, chapter, well, well, right here it says, uh, a warning for rebellious Judah. This, this is a warning for, for, for who? Our people. There you go. Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Judah being their head tribe. It says a warning. Yep. You know? But remember, it says, uh, the thing is, you can't survive. You can't build, man. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good It's in the hearts of man. It's a good thing. Because these, our people don't take a warning as a sign of uh, uh, urgency or, you know what I'm talking about? You know how you're supposed to take a warning sign? Like, okay, we're cool, we're not. Right. I'm going to stop. I'm going to see straight. Right. You know, Jake don't take a warning as that. You got to really hit Jake when it hurts. You know what I'm saying? For Jake to understand and know. And that's what the Lord going to do, all right, when he sends uh, his sword, <coughs> which is Esau. Yep. All right, when Esau comes down having that great round, all right, that's what they going to try to do the understanding of what's really going on. But it's going to be too late for some of you niggas, man. It's going to be too late for some of you thoughts. Some of you women, it's going to be too late. Get it while the getting is good. Because it's good to get it now. Why what? His mercy in his hand is still stretched out. That's right. You got it all out. Yep. Isaiah 30 and 8. It says, now go write it before them and and a table and note it in a book. Woo! That's a uh, uh, Habakkuk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a Habakkuk. <coughs> what? Yep. Yeah, go ahead. It says that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Woo! It may be what? For a time to come forever and ever. And it is a time to come. These prophets going right back to Habakkuk too. 
when we say that vision was set for the point of time, at the end it shall speak and not a lot. You know, go ahead. It says in verse 9 that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shah. Brother, we see that. This, what they call what the generation X. But we see, we see the rebellious, man. Yeah. You know? We see the wickedness on two thirds. All right, Z, 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 Z. Yeah, man. We yep. see it. Go ahead. It says, we say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Right, they don't want to hear the right thing. What is the right thing? Repent. Yeah. You know, yeah. stop doing that. But well, you ain't got to that man. What you come on for? We're not about her. They don't want to hear that. Because that's not what's being promoted and esteemed highly in the society. They don't want to hear that. Yeah. Look at a child. Stop feeling it. No, no. what? Take love wickedness, bro. Take love, take love following the way of, of, the, of the heathens, of the heathens. man. That's right. they've, all, they've always been like that. Jake don't want to do what, what, what they're supposed to do. Jake want to do the, 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 opposite. the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go against the grain, man. Right. And at the end of the day, man, that's, that way is going to get you destroyed, man. That's right, brother. You know? That's right. Okay. Yep. It says, uh, see not and to the prophets prophesy not unto us right things. Right, prophesy not unto us right things. And then one right thing to prophesy to the people is what? To repent. That's how I said. So you know what? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right. You know? That's what we're telling you. That's a, that's a right thing. You know? That's Isaiah, what? 55 and, uh, I think like 8. You know? Yep. You got it now. It says, speak unto us smooth things. Got to speak unto us smooth things. You know, this 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 show, yes, yeah, sister. Yeah. Uh, all you gotta do is just, you know, pay your tithes, sister. Right. Uh, the Lord gonna bless you with their husband you want. Lie like a hoe. Yeah. But that's what our people want to hear. Because that's that that's that tradition. Yeah. You know that big mama tradition. Mm -hmm. You know, your mama tradition, granddad tradition. That's what our people want to hear. Them the smooth things. It's gonna be alright. You can be a hoe and, and be a separate. No, the Lord gonna kill you, nigga. But in the churches, you accept it. You know, yeah. you come back to your eye. You know, come in a switching. You know? But that, that, that's not according to the scripture. Right. So they don't want to hear what the prophets have to say. Because when you hear this, you ain't got no choice but to get your mind right. right. That's the truth. That, that, that's the truth. And you have to hold yourself accountable, man. That's it. You know? And that's what Israel is not willing to do. That's what they don't want to do. Yeah. They, they want to always have an excuse. Hey, you know, go back to who? Esau. Yeah. Because Esau had this school. Right. You know? Esau, man. We didn't know what they had got the mindset. Or what? But he even might. Yeah. Yep. So as the leaders, so as the people. Right. You know? You got it. It says, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Yeah. See that? Prophesy deceit. Right. Right. And he got L-I-L-O-D. Uh, 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 I know it. You know what I mean? What's going on? What's going on? I like it. Yeah. Go ahead, Doc. That was it. Let's see when we keep going. Yeah, go back to the Okay. This is 2 Peter 3 and, uh, and verse 3. It says, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust. Yeah, we see that. Yeah, we see that. When you're dealing with the other Israelite camps, man, they're going out their own lust, man. With these false, uh, 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 these false doctrines, man. Yeah. Then they stop at the middle of the Lord on the slick. We can read between the lines. Um, you know what you're talking about. You want to say great? You know what you're talking about. You know? But then, when they speaking of that, they speaking against the truth. Right. Because that's all we come with, is the truth. Right. You got it. Yep. Verse 4. It said, well, you want me to jump down, bro? Yeah, uh, because, okay. yeah, you can jump down. Because the Quran is that great and right. You ain't lying. But here it is. You want to flip the script. <laughs> it said the Quran is sin and then this and that. Hell is this. You know? Then you stop it. Go ahead, I. Jump down to verse 9. 2 Peter 3 and verse 9. 
It says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Oh, As, oh now read four. Huh? Read four? Yeah. Okay. Second Peter 3 and verse 4. It says, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? Right, and that's the thing of, uh, we going to Amos, uh, what is it, Amos uh, 8 and 11? Where it speaks about, uh, we say, uh, go to them to desire the day of the Lord. What is it for you? What is the end is for you? You know, because when it is, our people count the, the, the Lord slackness. Right. So it's like that. the Lord fell asleep. You know, no, the Lord ain't fell asleep because in due time, because he said he was not moved from the earth to the sin of to be fulfilled. All right, prophecy is being fulfilled, man. I got uh, shut on the lead. Uh, this is a uh, separate lock. Zephaniah 1 and 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. Right, which is the prophet. All right, and the light is this word, man. Yeah. And punish the men that are settled on their leaves. Right, and, and you see what those men are going for the way doctrine. They don't know men that sell on their leaves, man. They come to them by the law. They good manipulating the people. They good putting out false information. You know, they fly because they got the money. Yeah, they got comfortable they here comfortable. in Babylon, man. You know, you look at a, a, a man like like uh, Bishop Nathaniel, this guy's a goddamn millionaire, man. You think he really uh, uh, looking and hastening to the day of the Lord, man, when he when you sitting on that type of money, all right? You ain't got to struggle. You, you get pretty much whatever the hell you want in Babylon, man. Yeah. You know, so it, it ain't nothing for a guy like that to be like the scriptures say, settle on his knees. Yeah, man. he's yeah. comfortable. Yeah, cause you see what he's doing. He's not like going like he going to other other uh, two third platforms. Right. That's just like a sign of you know he's being controlled by Esau. That's just a me as a man speaking. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause you just gotta look at he going to two third platforms, man. You know. But go ahead, Doc. Yep. It but says. It's for way. Go ahead, Doc. It says, uh, and punish the men that are set on their leaves, right. that say in their heart, the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shab, will not do good, neither will he do evil. Yeah, exactly. Cause ain't no Jacob trouble. Yeah. That's a sign of the Lord ain't going to do evil. Mm -hmm. You know? So what's coming to this place? Evil and only evil. Right. That's what's coming to Babylon today. It's going to kick off in the what? Jacob trouble. You know, but the scripture to you be prophesied not. All right? The truth. Okay. Basically, that's going gonna, that's gonna to be upon you. That's why we, we try to make sure we, we, we're speaking the uh, words of the Heavenly Father. We, we're, we're teaching the correct doctrine. That way we can be held blameless, man. And not uh, 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 have blood upon our hands, man. If you hold back, that's gonna be, you, you're going to be held accountable. For what you didn't tell the people. So no, we're not gonna hold back. We're not gonna we're not gonna sugarcoat it. We're gonna tell you the straight skinny man on what the Lord is gonna do. And and, 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 and you know it's up to you <laughs> to repent. Ultimately it's up to the Heavenly Father uh, 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 to put the spirit on you to either receive it or, or be deceived, man. I'm going back to the uh second Peter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is second Peter three and four, it says, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were yeah. from the beginning of creation. See that? Everything continues as they were. All right, remember what happened in the time of Noah. They were still what? Eating and drinking, marrying and giving them marriage. It's part of land. You know, no sense of urgency. You know, no prayer. And guess what? It's going on today. It's been in the Matthew 2 and 4 chapter. All right, it says the way and uh, uh, same shall it be when the Son of Man comes. Yep. You know? Go ahead, you jump down now. All right, verse 9. Jumping down to verse 9, it says, The Lord is slack, Salaki. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Right, you see that? And his promise, one of his promises to what? To destroy Babylon and Great. Yep. All right, he's not slack concerning that. As we can look over there to the east. All right, when you think about Israel, all right, you think about Gaza, 
You know, you know what's going down right now? Uh, all these protests, man. You know, they stirring the what? They stirring the war. There's a lot of death going on. A lot of killing going on. You still got Russia. Still got Ukraine. You know, still got uh, uh, NATO in the EU. You see, the Most High must in the battle. He not slacking son in that pump. In another country, he not slacking. All right, giving us the kingdom. Right. Why? Because we have received the truth. Yeah. It's written in Revelation 11 and 11. All right? Three days in the hand, the spirit of life shall enter to them and they shall stand upon their feet, man. Right. And by receiving this, guess what? We receive the salvation. See? So he not slacking us on his promise. Right. So here it is. He got everything going to point to his word. Yeah. Hey, bro. That's true. You said that because look at us right now. This prophecy right here. Exactly. This, this, is, this is the man you know, waking up and coming out, you know, and, 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 and coming back into the word of Yahweh by Shema man. Right, brother. You know, and that's that's prophesied yeah. that this is going to happen. So <laughs> this, this is what's putting fear in, in these Edomites, man. Yeah. This is what's putting fear in these high-level elites, man. I got one for you. You know, because, hey, they, they don't fear you niggas out here with the uh, ARs and the guns and, the you know, with your pants hanging off your ass, you know. No, nah, they don't. They don't free niggas like that. Y'all fell into the trap, man. Y'all just part of the system. What they fear is just right here, the scriptures, man. Knowing, knowing, knowing what's coming. These men waking up, okay? But hey, hey, that's that's a uh, damn. That's a song. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 These things have thou done, and I kept silent. Though thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as thyself, thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thy eyes. Right, and that's, what, that's what's going on. That's what's happening right now. And right before Esau, Edom's eyes, in his kingdom, you know, the Lord is setting us up, man. All right, to what? To be the next kings, man. To be the next rulers. All right? And, and 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 that's a uh, uh, that's power in itself. Yeah. You know, right. that's the Lord really flexing His power, man. Ooh. By by what you know, Esau can't yeah, do that. Yeah, we probably be out on one of the trees like right that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. They probably caught us. The Lord, if the Lord wasn't with us, man. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, we we we'd have been finished, man. Finished. Like, yeah. like Scripture say, if, if it's not of the Most High, we're coming now. Yeah. So if this wasn't of the Lord. We'll be out of here. Right. He saw easily come just get, wrap us up, man, and, and you know, like the brother said, we'll be hanging from a tree. Yeah. But he can't. He can't do nothing against us, man. He can't do nothing against the Lord. Right, right. He, he battling against a higher power, man. It ain't. It ain't about you know, uh, uh, uh and Bob and talking about, man. You know, this is about how about some outside. Right. This who you battling, eat. Right. You know. Right. You got it, buddy. Book of Ecclesiastes is also known as Sirach 10 and verse 4. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time will he set over it one that is profitable.
Now all this going on, like the brother really is up in Nile, we got two thirds of our people, okay? And, and two thirds include those that uh, know their Israelites. Two thirds include those of the circumcision. And they're settled on their leaves, meaning they're comfortable, they're complacent, God. all right? Meaning that they are not keeping watch over the sheep. Not only are they not keeping watch, they're selling out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they're yeah. from from uh, uh, one body. Right. Here it is. <laughs> All that shit you talk, bro. I, you know, you, you, you talk so tough, man. He one of the toughest talking in the life out there. He was damn near like ISUPK. The way he talked, but then yeah. look, when it went, went, he he crushed and he came in. He threw the towel in, bro. Yeah. He, he knows what he wanted right. He got huh. he got infiltrated. <laughs> That's what you call four and four. Done. He got infiltrated. <laughs> like uh like uh the New Jack City. <laughs> yeah. He let those niggas infiltrate him. Yeah. That's your Yeah. That's your yeah. 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 Let those niggas infiltrate. Yeah. Yeah. This is second edge, it's 15. And six, for wickedness have exceeded it, polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works of the field. Therefore, thou said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more and touching that wickedness. And the tongue is the prophets. Yep. The Lord's tongue is the prophets. You know, we go to uh, 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter around the 10th verse. It said, uh, then shall that wicked be revealed. Yep. And the Lord shall consume the spirit of his mouth. And the spirit of the Lord's mouth is the prophets. Uh -huh. And that means 10 and 28. There you go. Now you didn't speak, but the father just speaking But going back to 2nd Ezra 15 and 8. And I will hold my tongue no more and touching their wickedness, yeah. which they profanely commit. Neither would I suffer them in those things. So like a, neither would I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Right, which ultimately goes into Esau Edom obtaining the fatness of the earth. But he had he has no limit. You know, he's gonna reap the earth, drive all his resources, the number one resources being the people. Yep. He, he'll, he'll spare no expense to satis satisfy his appetite. And the scriptures tell you that his appetite cannot, he can't be satisfied. He's, satisfied. he's like death, yeah. right? No matter how much uh, people die, there's always room on the earth for them to lay down. There's always room for both. There's always, there's always room for both. Yeah. And that's the mindset of the so-called self-proclaimed white man. Right. But the reason why you see wars constantly going on in the earth is because this man's spirit is as hell. He don't have a spirit of life. Okay? He got that sword which goes into his missile technology, uh -huh. his military might, uh -huh. and he's abusing that power. Uh -huh. And through his pride, okay, uh, he forwards his uh, agenda. That agenda being a one uh, new world order, one world government, where he has complete and total control over every soul on the planet Earth. Uh -huh. he, he's gonna control and dictate your income, control and dictate what you eat, how you sleep, okay? Everything is being built and constructed as we speak. Social social credit, social credit scores, uh, smart cities, universal based income, digital currency, all of this is what's going to be uh, is a part of his enterprise. All of this is a part of Esau Edom's enterprise, the new world order. And you people are walking blind, you don't, you don't know what's going on. At all. Because you're not in tune with the spirit of life. Yeah. The word of the heavenly father, the son. See, we 
have been uh, enlightened, uh, and people laugh at secret societies and Illuminati and globalists, and when we speak about the elites, when we, when we speak about, uh, I forgot the word for it, uh, the shadow government, but it's a, it's, it's, it's a term for it, but basically it's the shadow government. When we speak about the shadow government, people are like, uh, like sheep, you know, sheep, rather, people, sheep. You run down here to these uh, boat booths and cast your boat. Uh, you really, really participate in a satanic ritual before you go. Illuminate 
from the Antimon online. It says to light up, shine on a back formation from illumination. It says light up, make light. Uh that's heavy, get that's heavy. Oh, oh, oh. That's heavy. I get uh, illumination. Yep. It, it link up with illumination. Yep. Which says spiritual enlightenment. Spiritual enlightenment. <laughs> spiritual enlightenment. That's it. That's it. Yeah. You know. So without, like you were saying earlier, without your heart boxing your house out, you'd be finished. Yeah. Come on, man. You know. But we got the glow. We got the wisdom. It's good to say, uh, wisdom made it the man face to shine. Face deals with. When you go into that word face, it deals with judgment. So wisdom makes your judgment to, to shine. Okay? This is uh said Corinthians 4. Did I get it back? Said Corinthians 4. I'm just gonna stop. 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And that's what our people are. Dealing, dealing, dealing with this democracy and going down here trying to vote. Oh, and, you know, fight for your rights. Right. Right. You're lost. You're just a lost. You're just lost in the sauce. You're just lost in the, in, the, in, the, in the wicked cuisine. You know? Yeah, because Dr. Lyle just read in 2 Peter 3. By way of what you put your minds up, by way of remembrance. Yeah, yeah. your minds by way of remembrance. Where is it? Out this way. They lost. There's only different to what those that have lived to realize the Yeah. All right? You got it. And whom the God of this world, which is Satan, yeah. physical counterpart of the spiritual being of Satan, is inside even the so called self proclaimed white man. That's right. He's the power of this world. And whom the power of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Least the light of the glorious gospel of the Mashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. The illumination. The illumination. They gotta be illuminated. They gotta be illuminated. If you don't, if you don't get illuminated, you're not gonna get it. You're not gonna get enlightened. You know, that light of the glorious gospel is not gonna shine unto you, man. Yep. So you're gonna stay in what? Darkness. <laughs> Tell the Lord to come and destroy your ass, man. Right, right. Hey, what about Father? Oh, God, I am. Hey, one more quick one, bro. This Isaiah. This Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 2. The people that walk in darkness have seen a great light. Uh oh, because we lost it in darkness. All right? What did it uh, 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 do? Okay. I got you. The people that walk in darkness have seen a great light. What's that great light? The truth. This is the Howard Right. All right. We have seen that great light, man. Lord, like what you do, we have been illuminated. We have been enlightened. We have received what? The Holy Spirit, which is the understanding. All right. Mm -hmm. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death. Right. Which is Right now, Babylon the Great is known as the battle of shadow of death. America. America. You know? And what? They are buying me, right? Okay. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them have the light shine. Right, see that upon them. Going right back to what I told you earlier, a revelation. All right, the spirit of light shall enter the tent and it shall spread upon your feet. The prophesy. All right, we in that time now. You know, you got the point. You got it. Because this truth is this, this, yeah, yeah. this, this didn't spring out of any other country. That's right. This truth didn't spring out of the East. It didn't spring out of Canada, Africa. This truth spring out of Babylon the Great. All right? Specifically Harlem. Harlem. Right? Which, which Harlem uh, is an omen for Salem, which goes to Jerusalem, which means city of peace. Done. 
which really means teaching of peace. When you go into Jerusalem, Jerusalem, it means teaching of peace. So peace is being taught through the Holy Bible uh, and the man of the Lord preaching his word, right? Preaching the Holy Bible. The gospel of peace begins with what? Us being enlightened, us being awakened to the knowledge of the fact that we are princes of the power of Yahweh Bashi Shah. And Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shah is the true name of his son. Yeah, without, without this peace, without this understanding, it's what? Confusing his head out. Yep. You're gonna continue to like keep his head cut out. Yep. Right. You know? Following the same ways, uh, like the brother said, went into that definition of insanity, where you quoted it. Doing yep. the same thing over and over, expecting yep. a different result. Yep. <laughs> yep. We ain't getting nowhere. We ain't getting nowhere. I love the simple ones. But hey, is that not what you do when you're in darkness? You can search for anything. You reach it for whatever. And darn it, you just like, God damn. Uh -huh. you, you, you lost, man. But hey, here's the light right here, man. That's it. The scripture. Now I see. Because you know, we lost, right? We thought Christian Adam was there. Yeah. You know? We ain't really, really, really got something to deal with the Bible. They just thought, you know, what they did was good. Yep. Being a product of their Bible. No, we was in madness. We was in darkness. You know, so voila! You know what type of Peter Hey, Turn that light on. Hey, it, it brought you back to the realm of memory. See? Yep, like that old church uh, song, uh, once was blind, but now blind I see. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, that's, that's what the Heavenly Father did. That's a true statement, so. though. That's real. Yeah. So, hey, them, them old, old church songs, old Baptist church songs, they had a little truth in them, man. You know, you had to pick out the, the meat from the bottom, but it was, you know, this, uh, you still want to get it. First Peter 2 and verse 9, it says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, right. and a holy nation, right. a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Right? The uh, positive, man. Yep. The Lord called us out of this dark, out of this bad, the Babylon. The whole mindset, the way of thinking. Yeah. Acting, being, looking at things. If we had wrong judgment. Yeah, wrong judgment. Yeah, bad judgment, man. Without going out of the next man running with things. That's yeah. bad judgment. Yeah. Without trying to make it into society, instead of getting close to the house by the outside, it was the right thing. That's yeah. bad judgment. Yeah. Yep. All right, putting the woman first. That's bad judgment. Bad judgment, very bad judgment. Terrible. You know? <laughs> horrible. That, that's horrible judgment. Horrible judgment. But you know? hey, that's the way. That's the way of this world. Exactly. That's dark. Exactly. Oh, calling ourselves black. Yeah. Like, like that made me think of Dave Chappelle. You darkness is. Yeah. Yeah. We call them niggas black. <laughs> black niggas. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what Jake calling themselves black. Uh, you you go into the word, it's born of light. Yeah. No, yeah. no light, no light whatsoever. But that's 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 the label we put on ourselves and say we proud to be black. Wow. Man, get your man, hey man. The Lord that, that's why, hey, the Lord just gotta do away with two thirds who got that type of mindset, man. They yeah. can't be saved, they can't be helped right now until you know until the kingdom comes. Yeah. We gotta you gotta you gotta focus on the elect. Like uh, Lord uh, uh, spoke to Ezra, <laughs> you know, worry about uh, uh, those like you, <laughs> those those elect members. Roughly paraphrasing it, man. Brothers know what I'm speaking on. You know, Ezra was, 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 you know, worried about the wrong things, man. Focus on those who are like you. Yeah, yeah. Those who are seeking the light, not the ones that's in the darkness. They gonna stay over there, man. Right. And it, it takes just a little time, man. Coming to the, I was, I was, I was there for man. Coming to the truth, you want everybody to Man, why, why we all can't get along, man? Damn, man. I mean, they Israelites, they know the Israelites. Yeah. But then the more you, 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 you in the, you in the faith, the Lord, the Lord really allowed you to see, like, hey, this what? These the same yeah. niggas, man. Yeah. That, that was in that uh, uh, free Barabbas spirit, man. 
Go to the same niggas. They got back. It. So you can see they judge me. You got it, brother. Yeah, now all Israel. Israel. Yep. You got Israel the whole time. That's the only one that's gonna be illuminated. The rest of them gonna stay like you speaking on in that black spirit. Yeah. Darknesses. Darknesses? You know, this nigga uh walk by camp, I don't know if he was blind, he was gonna be the And uh <laughs> He walked out of camp talking about he hates black people. Like, okay. Yeah, right. We do too. <laughs> right. So, you know, he <laughs> and it fucked him up. Because he thought he was getting that song. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, 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 Jesus is a white man. I hate black people. I wish I was white. Said, okay, we hate black people too. Get your white ass down the street. Because at the end of the day, man. They don't have a clue where this terminology comes from. Black and white, yeah. African American. He just been going along, you know what I'm saying, with that tag on his ass. <laughs> 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 they don't know where the fuck that tag came from. Yeah. I just like you know, I just like if you walking, you walking and somebody come up, pat you on the back, and get to talking to you. You don't know you put a tag on the back on your back, say I'm a jackass. Right. You know. Right. So when Esau Edom came up with the social construct and told you he was black, he basically did that. He yeah, just yeah, pat yeah. you on the back and said, black. I'm a jackass. Yeah, I'm a jackass. Yeah. Put the tag on. Right. Yeah. And uh, the Lord likened us into uh, group beast, a donkey, which is a jackass. Yep. Yeah. Is a group beast. You walk around here calling yourself black with some type of uh, badge of honor. Assurance. Right. Yeah, like a badge of honor. Like you a sure to y'all, I'm, I'm black and I'm proud. Yeah, I'm proud. That's, that's, the, that's the time we have our small crowd because it's been in the person. Yep. Yeah. Because we're going to oh, follow the astonishment and the power and the power. And that's exactly what happened. Their name was stripped away from us. You know? But also, probably too, because we're going to see that name again. You know? But that's just the power we have our small crowd. Like, niggas call yourself niggas and, and black. You know, it's about African American color. See how many times they changed? He came over here uh, at Hebrew, then it switched up to uh, uh, African American, <coughs> then uh, Afro American, then Negro to black or uh, to color, and then black. And now you got what? African American. Fruit. All right. But that's prophecy, what did I say? This prophecy, though. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, you want to finish that? Uh, 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 oh, shit. No, I was in Peru. I can go to it. Y'all got it. I, 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 I had made the point. Okay. 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 Second Peter. Second Peter. Okay. Come on. Uh, Look back at nine. Yup. Yeah. Nine or ten. Uh, I ain't no finish nine. <laughs> it's 2 Peter 3 and verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slack. Right, a lot of people count slack. That's why we read that piece of earlier, or to them that I said on their leave. You know, a lot of people count slack with the promise that we have back in our shop. But when you read Habakkuk, it says, surely wait yep. for what it shall come. And not what? And not to have it. You know? Go ahead. It says, but is long suffering to usward, not willingly, uh, so like it, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And you can see the power too. You gotta check, check this out. You see how the days are turned to hours, the weeks are turned to days, and the months are turned to weeks. It's going fast. But here it is, the Lord still, His mercy still exists. But it's still time to repent. You know? It's still time to repent. It's high time, but it's still time. As we see the days are what they're short and short. Alright, and that's why He said to us, but which is the elect. Alright, those that written the book of life, man. The predestined to be delivered. Alright, it's to us, but. Go ahead. Yep, it says, but that all should come to repentance. That, and that's that all, that world. 
Go ahead. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Right. You see how and he's like, man, you know, we hear you turn you off. I want to hear you, you know. I was trying to talk to you, and then here it is. Boom! Somebody do it for real. It's like a thief in the night. It comes from God. But the whole time, you have been what? You have been warning it. Yeah. Right? And it's the same mindset of the first five people as the Lord first has been a student of the prophets, man. To come out here and tell you on this great and tough day. Because this is a great and tough day. All right? When Mr. Pitch is placed, Yep. It says, um, verse 10, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Right. What's that great noise? The missile. Go ahead. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The elements going to melt. Everything you see at Babylon the Great is going to melt, man. It's spoken there in, in, in Joel, the second and third chapter, man. This place is going to be a desolate wilderness, man. You know? This place is going to melt. And they continue to build these high uh, skyscrapers, these high buildings. All right? Guess what? The Lord is going to throw it down, man. All right? By the time I'm going to listen to the angels, it's blazing. Go ahead, I. It says, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Right, everything. Go ahead. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Yeah, that's why the scripture says it's written. Now that I get get understanding. All right, because when you start to hear the topic, put it in that spirit tag, get in number split spirit tag. Right. All right, because the terror of the Lord will display it in. And it's by the Lord terror. All right, he's going to loop this place. He's going to put the spirit on the other nations to loop this place, man. All right? So, yes, we persuade men to the terror of the Lord. All right, yeah, we prayer markers. Because if you don't do this, your ass is grass. Ass is grass. But if you do do this, you have a chance of salvation. Get your mind right to repent, man. Yeah. You know? Going yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Second Peter 3 and 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Yeah, you know, you know how you get an access, you got a glass of water. Yeah, just break up. You throw your access with that glass of water, and you just wash that one get dissolved in it and it disappears. Oh, you, you just got to add up all these. You want to say in second hand of the chapter? All right? Measure the time dealing with itself. Alright, when you start to see these signs pass, you gotta know. This this way the most high your house visit the earth. So when you start to see all these things happening, what mindset is supposed to be in? That's why uh we'll quick talk about that if you say we'll build a building where it's still. This book of Isaiah. That's why verse 2 gets up. Book of Isaiah 1 and verse 2. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. Yeah. My people, they should say, are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They don't know. They have absolutely no understanding of the power of the Most High. And how he should name them Yashrach. Yah, Eve, Shah, Prince, Allah, Power. Prince is the power. 
then those that do uh, come into it without the Holy Spirit, they trample it underfoot. They take it as a thing of God. And they don't of being uh, named, of being known as the sons of the Most High, the sons of God. You know, they would get tattooed like Tupac or, or, or Nas, you know, a God's son. Yeah. yeah like, but not knowing that they really are God's adopted sons. Right. Okay? And there's a power that comes with that. But the power can only be unlocked when you turn away uh, from your sins. Yeah. When you quit rebelling against the Most High. Yeah. When you come to the obedience of the Most High, you're tapping in yeah. to a power that no man can defeat. You typing in, you tapping into the power of the Most High. But you better have the power of the white man. You break, rob, and kill each other over fucking paper money. The dead white man on it that don't give a fuck about you. Yeah. Your life gotta be more than about a fucking dollar bill, man. Done.
If you're gonna be if you gonna be guilty of Isaiah 31, alright, when it says what you let go that is guilty of that, alright? Or you're gonna be uh, blameless and it's depending on your how about some more stuff. One or the other, because that's what it all boils down to. Yeah. Alright, that's the cherry on top. Alright, the karate. Alright, that's what it all boils down to. And you're gonna have to have faith. Yep. Because the time that's coming to this place, it's going to break your faith. Alright, because you're going to be seeing the death. Alright, you're going to be seeing the pestilence and the evil that's going on. Alright? If you got your trust and your faith in, in, in uh, you know, Babylon, man, you're going you're gonna to fall. Yeah, how can I? I can't, I ain't ate in three days. Right. How can I make it? I'm about to die. And is that in the Esau spirit, right? Yeah. Going right back to it, they adopted the mindset. The, the, the scripture say, choose none of his ways. Envy not the what is that? Envy not the oppressor, man. Choose none, and choose none of his ways, because the prophet telling you is the time is coming that it's gonna be a man. So here it is, the Lord giving you a clue, just man. Right. Well, these niggas, man, you know? man, Jake and Babylon, no, have no clue well, about fasting. fasting. By going on fast, not eating, you, you know, uh, uh, going a day or two without without eating, you know, they can't do that, man. They gotta eat. Yeah, what 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 Esau tell them? Breakfast, lunch, yeah, and dinner. Supper, heavy dessert. meals too. Yeah, supper, dessert, along with all the snacking you're doing throughout the day. You got blood. Like your body is. That's why so many people are obese here. They they all they do is eat, man. They just consume us. Yeah, that's why kids got more gut than fat. Right. Constantly consume us. But so when that day come upon them, they 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 not gonna know how to, you know, uh survive without, you know, uh uh going down to Egypt, man. Yeah. You know, what scripture good to tell you in the in the curses about how we're gonna have to go to this devil for the want need of all things. Yeah. But hey, that 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 that's gonna be times ten. And, and that day, man, you know, because it's gonna be a, a, a shortage of, uh, <coughs> of uh, you know, food, okay, of goods, Resources. all these resources in general, man. Yeah, you gonna have to have faith. Yeah, we're gonna be the phone and shit like that. We're going to the time of uh, the book of Eli. You know, <coughs> we're gonna you know, faith, uh, Isaiah 25 and, uh, and 13. My son, my servant shall eat. My servant shall drink. My servant, my servant shall rejoice. Right. You know, if you're going to fall in that category. Yep. Uh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. It says. Get that first. Yeah, go, uh, don't go ahead. Uh, two more. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Alright, this is uh Second Peter 2 and 12. Looking for and hastening until the coming day of the most high. Right. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right, you see that? That is spiritual prophecy, man. Alright? It says the elements gonna melt with fervent heat once again. Let you know that what? World War Three is gonna come. I find the being Bible on the plate is a lake of fire, man. This place being on fire, man. This place burning. Alright? Look at that, uh, Mal uh, Michael, uh, Malachi 1. Uh, I mean, 4 and 1. 4 and 1, yup, yup, yup. That day is going to burn like an oven. oven. Yep. Come on, man. This is a vision that Peter was seeing. Yup, that's it. It says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, Look for a new heavens and a new earth. Right, exactly. Wherein dwelleth righteousness. Right. That's it. A new rulership. Right. A new government. But see, yeah. that's, that's our hope too, man. Is see, our minds and our, our our spiritual mindset is not attached to Babylon, man. All right, it's not attached to the, to what we see right now because we already know the Lord is already. Giving us that, those, those, that, that spiritual eye to see right. what he's about to do. So we we already spiritually, mentally, you know, we in the kingdom, man. We thinking about what's to come. You know, we ain't thinking about, you know, 
Uh, uh, oh man, in 10 years, man. Woo, yeah, I'll be able right. to give me a Corvette like that, brother. Right, right, right. Man, oh, uh, well, I, I just gotta keep saving my money. Uh -huh. You know, yeah, go to college, man. Yeah, good credit. And just keep working, man. Hey, I'll be able to get it, man. <laughs> Look, we going day to day. We getting our daily bread and, 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 and watching for the prophecies, man. Yeah, that's that's what we doing. That's the mindset we in. Yeah, right, and, 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 seek, and seeking and hastening for that day of the Lord's return, man. Knowing that it's it's not. All right. You got it, bro. That's our deception. The second of uh, Thessalonians chapter two. Now we beseech yeah, you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, the Holy Child, must stop by gathering together unto Him. That you be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled. Right, and that's the point. Don't be soon shaken in mind. Cause it's gonna, it's gonna happen. That, that's uh revelation too. You know, fear not. All these things must come to pass. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So don't be shaken. You know, the Lord told you there's gonna be a lot of death, a lot of killing. You know, it's, it's evil. This is the time of a uh, day of trouble. So don't be shaken in mind when these things start to come. All right? That's what we're doing. The Lord doing the, the sifting. Yeah. The Lord, the Lord doing the sifting. He's doing the shaking. He shaved things up on the man. Yeah, man. But he tells you to hold fast to your faith. Yeah. It says, for be troubled neither by spirit, nor by words, nor yeah. by letter, as, as from us as the day of a much stop is an end. Right, because we know where we're the rich coming. But we're going to pray, we got nowhere to go. Or we're going to allow our faith and we're going to deliver us as he's spoken in. We're going to deliver us the prophet. So don't be shaken from that. We know the so-called white man going to come down. We know some of us going to have to be brought into the concentration camp or be beheaded. We know all these things. We can't be second by that because we know the things are already. But our faith relies in the Lord delivering us from that. That's why our faith relies in that. All right? It says, let no man deceive you and don't let nobody deceive you. What were they talking about? By any means, for that day shall not come except to come a falling away first, right. and then man of sin be revealed, mm. the son of perdition, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called the most high. And we know that's Esau. Like you said on the lesson on Friday. Name another. Name another uh, nation that does not themselves as much as the wicked. You can't. The wicked, Esau, is the ruler of today. The God of this world, the power of this world, man. They yep. pulled him out. Hey, it's a doctrine. Uh, right there, it's, it's the heart of God, it's power, not the most high. So it says, right. who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called power, right? Or that is worship. So that he as power sitteth in the temple of the most high, right. showing himself that he is the most high. Because he got a God like what? Conflict. Yep. And with this technology, this this small device, yeah. that's what he can be as yeah. the heavenly father. Yeah. And he can what? He can be the all seeing right now. And that's why I want to see you know the technology and shit. Because with this small, especially the iPhone, it records the skill, the hard breathing, the heart rate. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things that small phones can do. But he tried to put it in this small device to put it in you. It's already known as a, uh, a walking arm. Uh, but what they call it, they call it a, uh, it's not a walking device, it's another thing they do. Uh, it's a better to sort of put it. I don't know what they call it a phone. Like. It's a walking phone, but that's a good point. Right? It's all about like, GPS. Huh? Uh, it didn't work with the camera. It says, remember ye not that when I was with you, I told you these things, and now you know, and now you know what would hold it, that he might be revealed in his time. Right, and his will be revealed in his time. See that? Because this is the time that what the wicked was being revealed. Because of what? He had his end. We look, we saw the end of the world, and Jesus was beginning to follow him, man. All right? This is the time. In the end, that's the new Right, because the wicked has to see the wet and lose the whole earth. 
We hear the Shakespeare's through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right. It says, uh, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan, Esau Edom, yeah. with all power and signs and line wonders. All what? All power and signs and line wonders. Exactly. Go line from the power. So it's telling you who Satan is. He's yep. the man who got all the fucking power. Yep. Who got the power? Exactly. You know? <laughs> What's that movie? Uh, I forgot what movie. Last Dragon. Not Last Dragon. Uh, it's a more recent movie. And it's like uh, behind behind every oh yeah, Rush Hour Two. Rush Hour Two. That's what he was telling uh, That's what he was telling uh, that's what he was telling Jackie Chan. Remember uh, 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 uh Ricky Chan. He said behind every he said behind everything is a white man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember he told him yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. He said, he said behind, behind everything right. is the white, white man. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Follow, the rich, follow the rich white man. Follow the rich white man. Right. Right. That's what he told him. Follow the rich white man. He said, uh, and with all the secretness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Mm. So the Lord not only going to destroy Esau, Edom, and those, uh, who after the work of the Satan, which is Esau evil, he gonna, he, gonna, he gonna destroy all those who refuse to receive this love of truth, mm. which is this word. He gonna be destroyed right along with the so-called white man, uh -huh. all right? Because you did not consider, going back to Isaiah 43, you didn't consider, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, you didn't consider. Yeah. It says, and for this cause, the most high shall send them strong delusion mm. that they should believe a lie. Mm. The, Lord, the Lord ain't gonna, the Lord don't hold, uh, he don't hold it, uh, he don't take too kindly to you rejecting his word. Right. You know, you only get so many times where you refuse his mercy. Yeah. definitely because uh, Jeremiah 96. Yeah. 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 It says, uh, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Exactly. They got the flesh. They have pleasure. They live for the flesh. Why they got a feed of my mind? Again to the past of those great millstones. Thank you. Let's go. 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 Let's